In this video I'd like to show you the software that we're developing in all the Word Bible translators. Right now we happen to be at Daniel 1.1 and as you can see we have a Korean lexicon and grammar loaded. And at this screen we can see that each verse is very thoroughly analyzed. Each proposition is marked with numerous features. And the phrases are marked with their features. The nouns are marked with their features. The verbs are marked with their own features, etc. And I'll show you one of the rules for Korean. We'll look at the rule that inserts their tense morphemes. So here are all of the tense morphemes for Korean. Now the point of this software is when we click the generate button, the software will take the Korean lexicon and grammar apply it to this verse and produce a translation. So here's the Korean translation of Daniel 1.1. Now let's switch to another, another language. We'll switch to English. So the software loads the English lexicon and grammar. So now we see English words here. And we're still at Daniel 1.1, and the analysis doesn't change as we switch from one target language to another. That remains the same. I'll show you one of the, the grammar rules for English. We'll look at the rule that inserts the pronouns. So here are all of the personal pronouns. Here, here are the reflexive pronouns, the reciprocal pronoun, possessive pronouns, etc. And now when we click the generate button, the software will take the English lexicon and grammar and produce an English translation of this verse. A man named Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. Another man named Jehoiakim was the king of Judah. When Jehoiakim had been the king of Judah for about three years, Nebuchadnezzar and his army went to Jerusalem, and they attacked Jerusalem and defeated Jehoiakim and his army. Let's switch to one more language. We'll go to Tagalog. So the software loads the Tagalog lexicon and grammar. So now we see Tagalog words down here. And again, the analysis hasn't changed. We'll look at one of the rules for Tagalog. Uh, we'll look at the rule that inserts the case markers. So here are all of the case markers for Tagalog. We have quite a few. And now when we click the, the Generate button, the software takes the Tagalog lexicon and grammar and produces a, a Tagalog translation. So here's the Tagalog translation of Daniel 1.1. After we have our lexicon and grammar well developed for a particular language, we can go to another screen. Here, we can generate, we can produce translations of numerous Bible books. Uh, right now we'll see the translation of the entire book of Genesis in Tagalog. 